And I got to develop a brand new type of rocket engine called a full flow stage combustion engine. That's a fancy name for saying the highest performing rocket engine ever made. And just to be clear, Air Force Research Lab, that's not just another lab on the street corner. That's an FFRDC, if I remember correctly, or not? Uh, it's a federal, it's a government lab. Okay. There are contractors like Aerospace that support in an FFRDC way. What does that right. mean, please? FFRDC? Uh, federal funding. Stay with us, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep up here, you know, but you guys are like rocketing off. <laughs> <laughs> Federally funded research and development okay. operation. Okay. Where, where it's it's a way for the government to get get a piece of a pie that's being baked that corporations wouldn't otherwise do because it's a little risky. Mm. It's a little kind of off the thing, but- No business case, right. no profit margin. Yeah. I'm doing that now with <laughs> NVIDIA. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. <laughs> so I, I got to work on that, that rocket engine program and it formed a kernel of several kernels of technology that seeded the propulsion industry for years to come. So I got to work on that program between wow. 1999 and 2004 and then that seeded engine programs like J2X that were part of the Ares rocket program. Mm -hmm. It seeded things like what Stoke is doing with their full flow engine. It seeded um, what, what I did with Raptor later on at SpaceX because I developed and architected the Raptor engine system for Starship. So, so 